<laughs> no, this man is a legend. He is a legend in the industry. He, he is. is probably is one of. Uh, He's eternally twenty six year old. <laughs> he is, and he is uh, one of our absolute favorite designers. Uh, his work has inspired um, hundreds, if not thousands, of at least four, artists around maybe five people, at least. Um, so let's bring him <laughs> on onto screen so you guys can see him too. Of course, it's the one. And only ah. oh, what? How did I introduce you before? You liked it, didn't you? The the man of the hour, the tower of power, too sweet to be sour. The one and only Tope. Hello, Tope. Hello. How are you doing, guys? We are doing absolutely awesome, my friend. How could we? How could we be doing anything less than awesome? Because uh, <laughs> we get to spend all of our time looking at inspirational artists like yourself um, doing their thing. Or, really, in reality, oh we'll get invited to everybody's living room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have you have you guys slept at all? Sleep? It's overrated, Tope. We had a power nap. Um, it's yeah. overrated. <laughs> okay. Just, like this. We're going to have a constant look of surprise. <laughs> yeah. I, we, we... <laughs> The, the, just so you know, power naps are not recommended. Power naps don't work. <laughs> really? I'm going. I'm going back to my first plan, which was the beer. <laughs> um, we're just trying to do our thing and support you guys along mm. this journey till we get to the end of it. Okay. The beer. Yes, <laughs> it will definitely be beer o'clock at the end of this journey. Mm. I I honestly don't I cannot commend you guys enough. You know, I'm sure a lot of other instructors have been, uh, um, um, you know, commending you and the hard work you have been doing. It's been a pleasure, an absolute pleasure, knowing you both. And on different occasions, I've worked with you, and I've yeah. got a favorite. Yeah. Do you want to know who my favorite? Go on then. Is? Go on then. I'm going to see how um, he answers this. <laughs> <laughs> they say none. None. They say none. Listen, <gasps> listen, Toby. I have control over your microphone. How you need rude. to pick a favorite. <laughs> we could put a, we could put a filter on you. Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> How would you like to do the next section with a pizza face? That's what we say. <laughs> right. We're going to hand over to you, Toby. We don't want to waste any more of your time. You've got a huge collection of people here waiting to see you in your look. You can have a look at the balloon artist in his own oh. environment. <laughs> Thank you very, very much, um, guys. It is, um, it is a pleasure to be here. And um, I want to say, like everyone's talking, is saying, uh, please stay safe. Um, and uh, we're just here to have some fun today. Um, if you've got any questions, I would like this to be as interactive as possible. So if you have any questions, feel free to interrupt me. Uh, boys, you can come on, come on at any time with the questions and, uh, you know, uh, just just stop me and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how we get on, basically, okay? So, um, Keith, I'm missing my scissors, actually, from Nigeria. So if you're hearing that right now, um, I, uh, you borrowed my scissors. Can I have it back, please, at some point? Um, okay. Um, today, um, I am so bear, going just, to... Just to let you know about your scissors, if you want them back, um, it's eBay. <laughs> We're auctioning them off. Okay. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to... Yeah, you go on, buddy. All right, thank you, mate. Okay, so um, what I decided to do today, um, I hope the... Um, subject has been changed because um initially i was i was going to i was slated to do uh distortion fancy powers and stuff like that and you know if we've got time I'll, I'll draw one of those in but um as you know uh, as we got closer to the time it just occurred to me that it, it was easter next week and um why not do something that is sort of easter inspired and uh, most of what you might uh, find around for Easter will be Easter bunnies, Easter eggs, and stuff like that. So I decided to use my uh, um, one of my favorite uh, balloons to create like a cross for you guys. And this was also because um, I have a lot of people who DM me 
and are asking how you know to create you know those letters uh, with star points. So today I'm going to be using uh, star points to make uh, a, a cross, and hopefully that should you know give you um, and uh, 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 an insight into how you know if you've never been to any one of the classes where I've made those letters and give you an insight into uh, uh, tricks and tips and techniques of how I put these uh, things together. And um, you know it won't just be what I what I hope to do if we're able to um, get everything done within time is to give you like a, a variation of how to use it because um, you know the, the cross can be used for Easter. I mean we know uh, it's, um, Easter coming soon so I'm thinking of you know churches um, um, I'm thinking of uh, communion for my South Africa uh, South American friends you know because they, they do a lot of uh, communion communion season is coming soon another couple of um, uh, months as well so uh, church anniversaries communions Easter and what was the fourth one ah uh, funerals um i i have used you know the, the, this uh, cross you know for funerals so i'm just gonna when i build the actual structure i will then show you uh a couple of um accents that um i would usually add to um the the actual structure itself um if anyone knows me you know i like geometry <laughs> Uh, I like straight lines, I like straight edges and, you know, lines and, you know, stuff like that. So a lot of this stuff I do, you know, follows uh, through because of, uh, follow through from my background. And um, so, you know, this will be a, a surprise to you. Now, the, if you're not familiar with the, uh, the balloon I'm going to use, it's called a uh, star point. Um, only Qualtex make these uh, uh, star points. They come in two sizes. The size we're going to use today is uh, 20 inches. Okay, 20 inches. Um, and so what I do is I use this in, in a sense uh, to create building blocks. So they're like uh, prefab, you know, units that I would then assemble into whatever structure it is, whatever letter, number, or structure I, I'm trying to build. Um, so uh, before we start as well, I would just give you a couple of tips. Um, to, to build the, uh, very, uh, uh, the letters, usually I have you know, end points, I've got uh, the connecting points, and I've got the edges. But on this occasion, I'm just going to be using the top, the end points, and also the connecting uh, points. So one of the things to be uh, aware about is on the uh, start point, on, on most files, you, you've got your barcode. And because the uh, I'm going to be building this end case, it's worth uh, you know just mentioning that you can turn your barcodes to the inside of the design so that it's not showing on the outside. Um, the other thing is, you know, you're only as good as the um, uh, 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 tools, you know, that you, you, you use. I'm going to show you, um, the first time I ever made this, I, I had to use a hand pump, you know, which is great if you don't have um, the, the the premium foil pro, which I just think is amazing. I and mean, if you're inflating a few of these, then it's, it's okay. The hand pump's okay. But if you suddenly have to make really long letters and you have to inflate a couple of hundreds, you know, it is worth investing in a foil uh, in a premium foil pro, which looks something like this. I hope you guys can see it from the app there. Um, so that's what the uh, Premium 4 Pro looks like. And that's what I use to inflate my airfield uh, foils. 
Okay. Now, also, um, if you then don't have one yet, but uh, you want to build any of this, you can use a hand pump. Okay. Now, with the hand pump, uh, uh, I figured out you need approximately about 16 movements of your pump to uh, fill a 20 to inflate a 20 inch star point so i'm just going to demonstrate that to you so that you see that now um and so I'll put my hand pump in you go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so that would that would uh completely inflate your um 20 inch uh star point now you've got to be also be aware that um extreme heat or extreme cold would affect your foil so if you're working in a really really cold environment you might need to you know put in an extra an extra one and if you're working in an extremely hot environment you may need to pull back on that last uh, 16th pump to um, have that fully inflated okay so i have some uh, balloons which i have um pre-inflated so i don't even have to inflate uh loads and loads of uh, balloons um uh, uh while you're watching uh, the other thing is um, for this particular design and the size we're doing, uh, you need 52 star points to, to complete the design. Okay? So, I'm going to show you the first one, the first uh, prepared part that I'm going to use. I'm going to need four star points for, for that. Remember what I said uh, that try as much as possible to make sure your uh, barcodes are on the inside of the design because at the end of it you're going to um, have something like that. Okay? So it is just basically building a cube out of uh, the star points. So I'm going to leave that there for a second. The other thing to be um, to, to uh, bear in mind when you're making this is that um, you would notice that the inf the, the, um, the the point the uh, edge that has the um, valve has a long flap and so it, I tend not to uh, try to tie two long flaps together because in time it's just easier you you it's almost like you get to enjoy having a long flap and so instead of tying two together i tend to turn it in such a way that i have one of my long flaps tied to a shorter uh, flap so that i also again get to enjoy to to use this uh, uh flap to uh, uh keep going that way i hope that makes sense and also when you're tying, uh, you don't need to, you know, tie gingerly at the very edge. This is very important because this would eventually affect the structural integrity of what you're building. So do not be uh, scared, you know, to, to pull it, you know, right in like that. And tie. So you want you want it to be really quite smooth, okay? And then I'm going to go to the other side like that. Put it right in and tie. Remember, when as you keep working, just remember what side your bath is on, and then you can secure. Make sure that um, the start points are facing. Exactly. And give it a really nice, uh, you know, to make sure it's really 
and I'm going to take the fourth one. Please, are there any questions out there? Are there any questions for me, Keith? Thank you. Yes, Ebels, thank you very much for bringing that off. Yeah. Um, so, you guys, you don't need to be scared. You can, you can really put it tight. And they last so long. Honestly, I can't even tell you how, how long uh, these things last. So, if you, had an event, if you have an event, you can pre do this like a week or two before if you know um, exactly what colors you're using and you've got the space to start them. So, Yes. It regulates. It regulates. So I'm going to, because I've got it in the corner here, I mean, you'd have to bear with me because this is not my usual workspace. So, you know, uh, it's, it's back there. I'm going to try to bring it up front and see if I can uh, show you how it self regulates. Uh, Keith, can you see this from there? Okay, cool. So, now with all the sort of transportation, I have broken my tip there, so it's not working as good as it, it, it should. Um, I've had to just tape it up for now, but that's what um, goes on top of there. So, we're going to see this and try and you know let you guys see how um that this works if you put that on so i have left that on to continue but you saw that the inflation stopped. So that's, you know, the beauty of this uh, machine and see how fast that was. But I left it uh, slightly longer so you can see that even though the, um, the, the machine was still uh, uh, pushing out air, the, the, the balloon wasn't taking it anymore. Okay, so it would just give you the exact, um, it would, it would just inflate to the exact, you know, uh, uh, um, size need. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it is. And um, yeah, it's a lifesaver where that design was concerned. Thank you very much for that, uh, Keith. Uh, very useful information. Like I said, you're only as good as the, as the tools you're, you're able to uh, 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 use for this um, kind of project. We all know time is money. So yes, it's okay um, with a hand pump, 
but that's doubly faster for me. And so if I can, you know, if I can get all this done in half the time it would usually take me, you understand, I then I can, you know, uh, I, I free myself up to do other other things. But, you know, I think it was just important to show you that if you don't have a Ford Pro yet, you know, you should get one if you're going to be doing this, um, you know, the, the, the hand pump um, would also do the trick. Okay. So the next um, uh, part that I need to show you will use five balloons. Okay, so one of the alarms in my is going off. I'm just going to go put it up. <laughs> so guys so the next um preferred part i'm going to show you is going to utilize five star points so we're just gonna go do the same again just go real quick because um i'm going to show you how to tie um, Some of the uh, techniques that I'm going to show you today um, are also going to do some basic techniques. This is simply because uh, sometimes as, as instructors, we forget that newer people are coming into the industry every day. And so it's, um, yes, we cater and we like to cater for, for advanced, uh, the advanced artists. Um, we also need to realize that we're still this is a growing uh, market and some of the basic things uh, a lot of people especially when you have like a, a a convention online as big as this there are definitely new people who we need to uh, remember as just uh, starting off so please forgive me if you know uh, something seems basic to you so here you go. So the second part is pretty much the same as the first part, except that now I'm going to add an extra uh, start point that would be my flat there. Okay. So you can add it to any um, you can add it to any uh, of these start points, and you will see what we're going to make of this. So, in the same way, you're going to bring it to the cube that you did for the first one. And then you have a flap at the top, which you're going to close up by just simply bringing it down and securing like that. So for this design, we've got that one and that one, and that's all we're going to be using. Okay? Now, Oftentimes, uh, when I'm creating 
a design. I like it when something goes wrong because um, from my experience, you know, I'm able to um, help as well so that you don't panic if something like that happens, you know exactly how to fix it. So here is a sample of what I'm talking about. This is one I created yesterday and, and one of the balloons uh, uh, is going down. So I'm just going to, you know, uh, repair it and show you there's nothing to panic about. You just bring out your scissors and cut out that balloon. Yes. Um, Keith, you can answer that question. Yes, remember. Yes. Thank you, sir. So yeah, I mean, this was done in one, one of, we had four sessions, didn't we, of one and a half hours. And um, I think once the inflation was done, putting it together was roughly about four, four, 35 minutes-ish, you know, something like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she looked after us, didn't she? So basically, you're just going to take that um, extra bit and secure back into the arrangement. And that's all it takes. Now we're going to start uh, putting this together. <laughs> um, it is best to use uh, uh, 260 cube balloons to now start to assemble it. Now, uh, and of course you would use a color that um, will sort of uh, um, merge into the co the design you're making. So I tend to keep a lot of um, diamond clear because that you won't see it. Um, on you know again, um, I didn't have much rose gold in my stock. So uh, the next color that was quite um, uh, 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 similar to the rose gold was a blush. So uh, now I'm just going to start to assemble. So. Now, of course, you, and I will build from the uh, bottom to the top, okay? So the first one is that, nothing I'll build from the top to the bottom. It doesn't really matter, you know, where, where you build from. Basically, you put the edges together like that. Before you start, what I also like to do when I'm tying this 
we can use quite a few, uh, we can use the same 260 Q balloon to uh, tie. So what I do is put an incision or just cut off the end there so that you don't, when you're tying, you don't have the bubbles uh, in the 260 Q. And it's really as simple as just really nice. yes it, it, it depends on the type of wall you're building because if you're if you're building block walls like you know um three-dimensional walls yes um i'm trying to think uh if that was a question from someone can they expatiate uh what type of wall they, they had in mind So I tend to trim as I go along. Once I've uh, tied secure, securely, I like to trim the 250Q. And you can see that once it's cut, you can't really see um, Yes, that's down to imagination. Again, you know, like uh, Keith was saying, um, if you're familiar with my, my work, I use a lot of these for, for letters. I mean, the very first time I used it was to create the love sign, L-O-V-E. On that, I've used a, a grid of um, three by fives to create the letters. I mean, you can use bigger, create bigger and stuff. I've uh, seen uh, uh, someone do, you know, much bigger letters with it. But the three by five, just for me, is quite uh, simple, adequate, ad adequate and easy to work with. So, this is the top edge of the cross. Now, when the, 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 the flanges would be coming out from here. So, the next one you would have, you would then uh, do that. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to put that on like that, and then just tie in. Yeah, sorry guys. I um, there was a, a an extra sneaky button that I missed off, which meant that Tope could hear me as the, as the voice in his ear, but uh, you guys couldn't hear me on there. So I'm just gonna while Tope is tying a few of those together, I'm just gonna um, gonna go back through a couple of the questions. One of them was whether you could use this same technique with other foils, and I, I said I suggested to Tope that. This is a very specific technique because of the um, the star point and it has the four connections um, that it's, it works that way. The um, the other one was, can it be used for um, any other 
uh, text, can it be what was it? Can it be used for anything anything else? And my said was it's also down to your imagination. And then Topia expanded about the fact that he does the love letters and things. Thank you. So you can see um, how far I have gone. And like I said, this is the this is the bit where I'm not gonna, now going to come out and do the flanges. So it's probably easier for you to do the flanges separately to start with or uh, and connect but honestly um if you want to keep building it on like that then you know feel free to do that it's just there's no hard and fast rule about about that so, just remember to uh, to select the appropriate three five part for the section you're trying to assemble. Also, I'm going to quickly touch that I made that I realized everybody wouldn't have heard. The premium balloon accessories foil pro. The adapter that Topia was showing earlier has a very special kind of set of vents inside of that adapter, which means that once the pressure inside, once you inflate it with, uh, inflate the foil with air, once it gets to the correct pressure, all of the extra air comes back down the, the valve, and um, and it, so it doesn't overinflate. So, so good for um, working, doing this kind of work. Thank you very much for explaining that. Sergio has a question. Is it possible to use this technique uh, star point wall to do a a flat wall, I think it is? Um no, I wouldn't use this technique. Um there are there are very uh, a couple of other techniques that um have been successfully used you know, to create like a flat wall. Because when you tie, it's very uh, difficult to maintain that same consistency throughout a flat wall. So um, for a flat wall, the, the, the two um, techniques I have used in the past has been uh, to uh, uh, tape, you know, just uh, normal, really strong, nice scotch tape. Um, I have used uh, balloon bond. I have used. Um, uh, I, I think this was this was uh, uh, shown me by a friend of mine, uh, Cam Woody. And uh, you can actually, if you're, you you need to be very careful with this, but um, you can use staplers. You know, yes, you know, pins and balloons. Yeah, but actually, you need, if you're very careful, you will notice that the flaps uh, have the this. Uh, bit where it's not actually part of the inflated part of the balloon. You can actually just uh, get a staple out and staple them together. So, uh, you also notice um, that at the moment, the flaps that uh, my tying flaps are showing um, at the end when you have finished and completed the design uh, you can just go right through <laughs> did you see what happened there my scissors just went just uh, poked one of the balloons so don't do that that's not good um there's a question came in there, which um, I'm going to try and answer on this one, but I know in the chat. It says, does the foil adapter fit on the twi twin premium air? I believe, I, I don't know, is the honest answer on that one. And I also, the premium twin air is a really, really powerful um, air inflation machine. Um, so I, I wouldn't have thought that it would work with it. Uh, um, yeah, that's that's my take on it anyway. Okay, so 
we have uh, this was this was done by me. This was my mistake. I my scissors just poked that balloon, and so just bear with me while I take it out and replace it with another balloon. Right there. So I'll just translate what Tope has just said there. What he did was, um, Tope on purpose damaged one of the balloons with these scissors just so that he could see how in the design. So I've got the two parts ready, and I'm just going to connect it right now to the top of the cross. Okay, so I've got my loose two there, and I'm just going to pop that right through. Mm -hmm. Be careful about where you place your scissors. So we're coming together night and these things are quite strong as long as you make sure to tie them uh, properly. And I see I can't even tell you. How uh, strong they are, you, want, you can't really tell by looking. Once they are so strong. We have a question by Richard. It says, Could you use cable ties instead of a 260Q? Um, I've never done it. I don't think it's impossible if you've got those really nice, tiny cable ties. Um, but what, is it is it more cost cost effective? Is the question I would then ask to use that. Yeah. But yeah, if you've got those really nice cable ties and um, the color's not going to show up on the, you know, I think it would work. Yeah, I know uh, Colin Stewart does a lot with these star points and uses uh, cable ties as a connection method. Um, but he generally he, he has them connected um, before inflation, which is uh, so it's a it's a time saver in that way. Um, but okay. yes, as people are saying, sharper um, and that, damage, that's potentially not damaging. That's not to tie the actual ability to the past. So yeah, it's coming together nice and uh <laughs>
Now, just to let you know, um, okay, so far we've got, uh, if you guys can see that, it is possible to omit these two balloons. Okay, but for me, um, adding them, so, so you would eventually uh, 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 use 50 balloons instead of 52. But for me, it just uh, gives a lot more uh, structure and strength to the actual thing and it really helps to hold it together there. Okay, so that's why, you know, I added those two. Well, you can get away with using two. Okay? We're gonna leave that there for a second while we complete the last uh, bit of the design. Okay, so I'm gonna work again uh, uh, from the bottom upwards now, and then once I'm finished with that, I can connect it to the um, to the rest of the piece. So here goes. I'm putting on a beanie. Okay, this is for this is for our Australian friends. They would know exactly what that means. Um, I'm gonna get hot in a couple of seconds, so I'll probably take it off. Yeah, uh, the Aussies out there, you you know what this means. Now, if um, for any reason, as you're working, uh, you find out that, oh dear, um, there's a, there's a, a barcode which you mistaken erroneously um, left on the outside. Honestly, don't be worried about it. When you see the entire design, the last thing you will see is one little barcode in front of it. We see these things more. And, you know, one one little mistake like that. And I'm saying that because as I started to build this, I saw that, you know. Well, you know, I, I dare you to show me where it is by the time the design is complete. Okay, so don't be worried, don't be worried about it. It's just, you know, uh, it's good not to have them all over the entire design. Another question. Could you emit, or I'm going to say it's omit, could you skip the very bottom balloon of the cross if it stood on the floor? Yes, you can. Uh, but um, I think overall, when you look at the proportion, it depends on how you're going to finish it, the cross off. Uh, like you said, if you're sitting on the floor, then it, it's okay, you know. I, because the base is going to be uh, uh, covered, well, most of the time when we do this, the base is covered, um, you won't really notice, you know, that, um, that and I think what you're concerned about is because it, it just sort of goes like that. Um, so yeah, you can skip it, you know, but when you're making the letters, uh, you really, that would be a problem if you're making the letters. 
Also, uh, Kobe Balloons would like to know uh, diagonal letters. You make them with this technique. Okay, yes, you can. Um, at some point, I'm supposed to make the, the entire 26 alphabets of the letter. I've done quite a few. You know, because I I do I do names and uh, so I've, I've done M, I've done uh, what have I done? A start now. I've done N and I've done M. So if you check, if you if you look on my Instagram, you will see the M. The N, I'm not too sure. I've done the word Emily. So they, there's quite a few um, that. I have already done, and that should give you a bit of a guide. But at some point, I think uh, one of the projects that I have, you know, in mind to do is do all twenty-six letters. And yeah, just just make it easy uh, for you guys to look at as a reference. So there yeah. we go, guys. Doesn't mind me yes, giving this out, but it's his is at balloon inspirations and then you can find them there Okay. Yes, my brother. Tell me, how did you enjoy the Nigerian cuisine? I really, uh, I really liked it. Um, is it the the jollof rice? It has a really smoky flavour to it as well. Yeah, we, we got to keep trying out uh, quite a few stuff in Nigeria. Yeah, and but everything was a little bit too spicy for me. Even the things that were not supposed to be spicy seemed to be a little bit more spicy in Nigeria. Nigerians love their spice, I tell you. One more to go from that. Okay, so um, overall, I am using eight of the uh, of the cubes, which are uh, made with four star points. I'm using a total of eight of those, and then for the cubes that I have made with five star points i'm using four of those and you will know you will notice those are at the top the ends of the flange and at the bottom okay just to let you know that when you um doing some of the squeaky bits what happens is it causes the microphone to cut out so you just got to be a little okay. bit careful because we we really want to hear what you say okay so i said that um the for the uh prefab parts that i've used four star points i for this entire design i've got eight of those and then for the ones that i uh, used five star points with the toppers. I've used four of those. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, yeah, we were lucky enough. Um, recently, we did some um, teaching. I, I did some teaching in Ghana and then met up with uh, Tobi in Nigeria. And it was basically there where everything kind of got shut down. So it was the pretty much the last training that we could do from that point. Yeah. Happy day. So um, now, moment of truth. I was wondering, do you know what? I had nightmares tonight thinking, is it going to fit in my in, in this room? But yeah, so we've got, uh, I've had to slightly change the design. Um, but, you know, that's, that's a real life situation. You get into a venue and what you might want to create has to fit. So um, just uh, finish up by connecting. I'm going to lay that down there and I'm going to finish up connecting with that. Bobby, if it didn't fit in your room, would you be a little cross? Sorry? I said if it didn't fit in your room, would you be a little cross? <laughs> I'll be a big cross. Goodness, kid. You are sleep deprived, aren't you? So yeah, that's uh, basically the person now you just going to go and talk to those. To make sure that you hide your mechanics, that's very important. So, talking as much as uh, you're able to. Somebody was saying on the chat there, Tope, they said it was so easy to make, they thought it would be much harder. It is quite easy, isn't it? And yeah. It's, just, it's one of the things where you think, why didn't I think about that? I, I, those ones where it looks harder to make than it is, that means it has a higher perceived value, right? Yes. Absolutely. So, now, um, there, are, they ha there are just various ways um, you can uh, finish this off, depending on what it is you're doing. Uh, you can hang it up, which is great. Uh, you can, you know, place it on a, a, a stand, again, which, you know, how you then finish it up from there. Like I said, you can use this for uh, Holy Communions. Communion season is going to be is upon us in a couple of months. Holy Communions, you can use it for funerals. I have used crosses for uh, funerals to really good uh, reviews. Uh, you can use, you know, again, like I said, uh, it's uh, 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 Easter coming, you know, the resurrection, um, Easter Sunday, Palm Sunday, uh, Easter Sunday, yeah. And um, what was the fourth one I said? And uh, at church anniversaries, you know, um, anything to do with the church, you know, the resurrection of Christ. It's all, all these things are um, 
ideal for the, the uh, design. Okay, so what I'm going to do, like I said to you, there are so many uh, little techniques here and there that we take for granted that people out there know. But there are new people coming in every day and are quite appreciative of some of the stuff that, you know, you know, I would just think, oh, you know, I mean, I, I remember teaching in, in Nigeria and I did, you know, some, I showed something. I thought everyone was like, whoa, and I was like, whoa, you know, this has been around for a while now. So I'm going to show a couple of uh, those to you now. Uh, for example, uh, I'm sure if you've been in the industry in the past couple of years, you're very aware of uh, these. Uh, this is not a, a paid advert for anyone, but you can get this from your local um, IKEA. So moving right along, um, I would, of course, because of the coloring, um, I want, I don't want the black unless you know the, the colors I was using was uh, uh, um, was had black in, uh, in it. On this occasion, I don't want this to show, um, because I'm going to use it as a stand, and you'll see what I mean. It's very easy if to just shove one of these inside there. Um, okay. So, my ceilings top the top balloon. You can see that, and that just holds as it is, okay? Um, but, of course, you can see the, the black there. And so what I'm going to do is show uh, a couple of techniques of covering your pole. And then bear with me if you know how to do this. You know, if you don't, then, you know, yeah, just watch. Actually. So, easy. Uh, this is a 260 Q balloon in the color of the design I'm doing, as in rose gold. And so you fully inflate the 260 Q balloon, place it on top. I mean, be aware that um, I wouldn't use this technique for a much higher pole. And I'll show you another uh, technique to cover a pole that is higher. So you can just do that. When you get to the top, you just open up the top of the balloon and just slide the rest. You slide the rest up. I'm just bringing it up so you guys can see. Slide the rest of the balloon. And that would cover your pole for you. I've got a little bit of a tear there, you know, it's just because of the awkward way I was uh, holding that. But that's one technique. Another is one which I'm sure most are also familiar with, but if I can get one person who is going to benefit from that, then it's worth showing it. So you just uh, uh, get your 260 Q balloon, one inch inflation, tie it off. I tend to cut off the the bead at the top of my my balloon like that. So basically starting basically starting from the bottom, and I hope you can see that clearly from uh, where you're looking, and just. Yeah, cool. So you're just going to wrap and push the bubble off the top 
of your cord and push and stretch all the way Doing the same thing all the way, all the way. Until if at the top there, what you don't want to do is completely uh, wrap it round because if you then try to pop the actual inflated balloon, you will shatter the balloon. So it's always good to leave a little bit of a a thing at the end there. We just put a small incision so the balloon can just go down without shattering and then you actually don't need to tie that you can just wrap it on the end of that and keep going I'll repeat the same there. Small incision to let the balloon down. Put that right on and finish off. To the top, a little bit. Down, and then I'm going to finish off by cutting that off and then I can use the excess latex right there to tie to the top of my pole. That covers a multitude of seams right there. Okay, so now I'm going to um, Guys, I know I can leave this. I'm a little bit thin now if we stop like that. I'm always going to know that balloon popped. And so I'm just going to quickly replace it. And apologies. So bad. My it's, uh, uh, got this, I don't know what it's called, but it's quite, it's got this really sharp, you know, uh, things at the top of it. So I'm going to be careful this time and try to um, make sure I don't make it so I'm going to cut this off. Well, this is what um, we keep on talking about with these, I know I keep saying it, these uh, nuggets of gold. Um, because we all have had a different journey to get to where we are. And, uh, Tobe, what you didn't see in the chat there was that, and um, we had, um, Sue Bola, Lupitron and Pampeus all say that they'd never seen the pole covering the slide over with, uh, 360Q before as well. So, uh, we Yeah, you buddy. I was just saying that um, it's nice when people learn things, even like really, really ex experienced uh, instructors, people like Sue and Luke and Pampeus, who've been in the industry for a long time. They hadn't seen the pole covering when you slid the 260Q um, down the knot lamp. So saying that we can all learn from each other because we've all had a different journey to get to this destination, right? Absolutely. The thing is, um, also, what I like to uh, say about that is that sometimes um, I, I tend to like to learn from so many instructors. Or, or anyone really, whether they're instructors or not, because um, it, I like to, you know, say to people, I, I probably have like six, eight, ten different ways of doing the same thing. 
depending on the situation, you may just need that technique. So you don't just go and go like, well, you know, I know how to do this, you know. It's fine, you know. It can only be good for you to add another, you know, technique into your toolbox. So imagine, um, you know, this is the, 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 the wraparound, whereas the slide one, imagine you're just, you know, working one day and you have one single balloon left, you know, you don't have three to do this. I mean, whether I agree that this is not necessarily the prettiest one. However, if you've just got one single balloon, you know, this will be the technique. This will be my go-to technique in a situation like that. You know, it may, so it's good to at least know that I have options, basically. I hope that makes sense. It certainly does, brother. Okay, so I'm going to try. There are two ways you can do this. You can shove this right through the back, or you can literally just place it at the corner there and tie it on. So I'm going to do the other one, and I talked about where I'm going to just shove it right through one of the corners, like that. You can see that it's now pre-standing, you know, uh, but what I also will do is I like to just get a couple of the points where I'm just going to make sure I pull that right in. And base. So all you need to do with that is just two, two points. How are we doing for our time, Pete? Uh, you have a, about an hour and a half left. I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that <I'll> works. <laughs> so, um, I'm just going to turn that around so you don't see the. Um... I think it's Nicolette coming right after me. And I'm going to blame you if she says I run into her time. No. It... Don't you worry about it. You've got that. Say that again. I said this book. Oh, I didn't hear you were cutting off. Nicolette's just come on the chat and she said that you've got plenty of time. Don't worry. Oh, thank you, darling. Where's the intro? Because there's a um, there's a thing about Nicolette on the. On the... I'm going to have a look at the corner. Convention. What nail it? Oh, yes, that's fantastic. 
I, I didn't realize it. So like this. Any simplest uh, form that's what it's to be now. It's up to you how you want to finish this up. So I'm going to give you a couple, I'm going to show a couple of um, things as well. And then, you know, uh, do like a, um, like, you know, if I was using this for like a funeral um, or like communion, I would just give you a couple of options on, of how to finish it. Because at the end of the day, um, it's very, whatever accent you add to this is, um, is what you know makes makes it good or great if that makes sense and one of the things i also forgot to uh, mention uh keith if you remember we tried this um in, in nigeria didn't we? where i showed basically that you can connect because it was a cable tie question that um from you can actually connect this together uh but i didn't tend to like um I don't tend to like the, uh, the the connection showing. So you can, you know, use like a five inch like that. And so the first time I made this design, I, I, I used that. But for me, the five inch just sort of gets in the way of uh, the cleanliness of the clean lines you know created by the star points you know but like i said you know each to their own it's just good to know you have options if you uh, wanted to you could put a, a light in there uh, uh, right through the bottom and that would sort of uh, give you that uh, a different dimension uh, you can you know if you're if you're a florist and you're good with flowers that's also an option, um, but we're just gonna, you know, create like a, a like a cloud at the base of that. So I have gone ahead and inflated. Again, bear in mind on this location that I uh, only have a, a limited space, and so um, you know, bearing in mind scale and proportion, you know. The, the sizes of the balloons I'm using, uh, I have limited to five inches and 11 inches. If I was working in a bigger space, you know, to sort of create that really nice organic cloud feel, I would use bigger balloons. And I am hoping that um, you will be able to see the base there. So. Uh, also, there was a question, Tope, saying about yeah. um, have you thought about adding battery operated uh, LED lights to the pole so that the lights could reflect from the inside? Oh, I just said that about two minutes ago. Maybe they didn't. That, that answers said, that question? Yes, that answers their question. Um, so, yes, um, it looks great in the silver design. So, you uh, put a uh because you can change the colors as well so that yeah we we have done that and that looks really nice yeah sorry i was distracted was, by the pizza like comment in chat sorry i said i was too distracted by the uh, pizza comments in chat pizza do share because uh, every time you get a message through, your phone buzzes, and somebody might have suggested that it's the pizza delivery guy outside. With... <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you know what? As much as you prepare for a live uh, uh, show like this, there would always be something that comes up that you're just not prepared for. So, um, this um, display, I'm going to really pack it loosely so that I can literally do anything I want with it, okay? So, I have uh, just inflated these uh, balloons, which I'm going to really pack loosely.
I have made them in clusters of four, by the way. So they're just five inches and 11 inch balloons. So I'm going to then secure, you see because of the way I've packed it, they're quite loose and, and I can be as fluid as I want with it, you know, because if you, uh, on this, uh, there are various ways of doing your uh, organics, depending on what, how you're trying to install it, or what you're trying to do with it. On this occasion, I want to pack it really loosely so I can be quite fluid as to how I um, place them, okay? So I'm just gonna do that. You see that I can really play with them and literally do anything with them. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, now, here goes what else. Unfortunately, I would have liked to add, you know, but again, this is where your imagination comes in. You can add some stars into it, you know, so sort of, sort of like uh, silver stars would look great there. Maybe a crescent moon, you know, just imagine, um, you know, it, it being in a bed of clouds, okay? And another thing that's great, I don't know if you guys have seen the Qualitex um, uh, foil. So, if you guys have seen that, that's great because I would then, you know, I could then float, you know, a couple of these clouds um, in, in this display at, at different heights. Again, just to give that feel of, you know, uh, the cross in the clouds and, you know, that, that sort of feel. Yes, uh, if you, again, you can make some, you know, handmade clouds with five inch and 11 inch balloons, just sort of, those uh, structured clouds that go like that. You can have a couple of those hanging down. It's all depending on the venue. Now, I, I'm just gonna, you know, speak a little, uh, uh, very, for a second about, about design. You know, it's very important to learn techniques and learn how to do new stuff. It's all great, but I think what's most important is, as well, is um, how and when you use it you know, um, how you present it. So I could, I could do this design in a particular room and, you know, uh, and someone sees it and they like it and they go like, oh, I would love this. And I'm like, well, I need to see your venue. And if I see that venue, I may be presenting it in a, partic in a different way. So structure remains, but the finishing differs. So, if I'm say hanging it, I may I may just use those uh, uh, clouds I showed you the, the the cortex clouds that I showed you earlier. Uh, that's another option. So um, that's basically one finishing. Now I'm going to take that away. I didn't secure it because I just wanted to uh, uh, give you uh, a co uh, another option. And so. Um, Let's get my balloons and I will show you guys. I've tried as uh, much as possible because usually when I make like um, leaves, uh, I do the twisting leaves. But I want to show you uh, a great technique of doing leaves, which uh, this is especially for the decorators because the twisters, they'll knock out the leaves real quick and, um, 
you know, you know, they, they, they won't even have to think about it. But for the non-decorators, uh, uh, here's a simple sort of leaf system. So now I'm thinking if I was going to do this design for like um, uh, Resurrection Sunday, and so it would be about the cross and palm front, okay? So um, just really show you, um, for this design, I'm going to use a hand pump, okay? Then I'll start the first uh, one by going one, two, okay? I like to burp the balloon so that it's a little bit more workable for me. That's my way of doing it. Um, twisters tend to have different ways of, um, uh, you know, how they handle this, uh, the 260 cube balloon. So I'm going to make that into a loop. Okay. And then I'm going to pull that into half and make into a figurine. Okay. Uh, just put a knot into it so that it folds like that. So you have a figure eight, okay, and you can trim the rest of what is left like that. So I'm going to place that uh, on here for a second, and then I'm going to take my next balloon. One minute and warning, Tope. One minute. Sorry? One minute warning. Oh, so I'm not going to be able to do this design then. Two minutes. Yeah, it's not going to work. Oh. But let me just show you what I have done. Um, okay, let, let me, let, I'll, I'll, try, I'll take two minutes. Thank you. The first one, I have done two pops. This one, I have done three pops. Okay, and then the next set of 10, I'm doing four pops. Okay, so do that. Same, same thing. So I'm going to repeat this uh, 10 times, okay? Or 12 times. But, you know, I now have three different sizes. One of this, one of this, and then 10 of this. So when I get, I'm going to take a 262, fully inflate. I'm just going to do real quick halfway point and pass the top one into there. Uh, do the same thing. I will show you the finish of the design in a minute. But it's so simple. So the finished design will then look like so. Okay. So, like I said, you know, the idea is to have like a palm front, you know, type design. And then you could create something really nice and beautiful. You, I hope you guys get the idea. Can you see that at all? Can you see that? 
by the reaction and that people can definitely see that because there's just gone a sea of thumbs up and gold nuggets everywhere. Okay, good. Uh, well, once again, I'd just like to thank you guys for tuning in. It's been amazing being a part of uh, what you're doing. Kudos to Keith and Dom. You guys are doing an amazing job and we're watching and cheering you along, okay? So, um, I wish you the best for the rest of the convention. Here he is. Topic. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Thank you very much, Tope. Uh, it was as just always. as wonderful to see it again this time as it was in Lagos. Thank you. <laughs> and um, please, guys, in the chat, can you show your support, show your love for Tope? Thumbs up. And if you really like it as nuggets. well, you can always drop a like on the stream, on the channel stream too. Yeah. That would be awesome. But what a good cool. job. Okay. Thank you very much, Thank Tobe. You. Thank you, Tobe. Have a good rest of the day. Okay. You take care. Bye. Bye.